Good afternoon. What's going on, everybody? We are live with the mixer. Mixer, mixer, mixer. A little mix and match action. This afternoon, we just wrapped up that case of Series 2. It's pretty good for what flagship is. I have no complaints with it. Uh, this is a little rundown of everything. We got the Bowman Chrome back there. We have a uh, museum back here. The other Bowman Chrome back here. Absolute select mega box flagship baseballs. Baseballs! And with that being said, move the camera this way. Switch screens. You guys can see my screen here. And we'll do the randoms. So here's the list of humans in the break. Thank you all very much for grabbing a spot. Sorry, you gotta do this. How do we do this? Just put some stars. That I'm gonna have to. Oh, my shipping department. It's not for any any real reason other than we have to check his shipping. Is all. Uh, four more times. Eight. It is. Finn, what's up, bro? Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. There we go, Mr. Decker on bottom, JB up top. Everything looks good in here, new. Four hundred team random. Uh somebody was asking me a new or a new customer was asking me how we do this. And even though I do these live, I still use the paid version. So there's absolutely no way to, to cheat this. Just for anybody curious out there. We still pay for this. We don't use the free version even though we're doing it live. Because you can cheat the free version of the randomizer. It's There's videos everywhere. You don't need me to tell you how. or even, I'm not even going to say how. Uh, but you can do it. So we use the paid version. There's no reason not to. Uh, it's a very $15 a month. I never use more than 100 of them. And it's just worth the added security for the consumer for me for you for everybody involved i don't i don't approve of the free version of the randomizer just for anyone who's curious so those both of those randoms i just did they have links that are available for 30 days obviously we don't post them or i don't post them because there's nowhere to post them since we're doing them live but they are available if you know how to actually Look up my random.org account. You can go find it. It's basically like public information. We'll crop this down though. These are the assignments. Marlins. Oh, geez. Sean's crying. All right. We just started. The dude's crying. Marlins. What are you talking about? That's like the that second best team in Series 2, babe. Got, I got one good box for you. It's better than the fucking Guardians, bub. This dude is a, is a fan of a terrible team and then cries about a team with rookies on it. Oh, I love it. I love it. Who else wants to put tears in the chat? I'll just I'll, I'll start shredding people all day long. We'll have a fun afternoon. Oh, Keith from CEO. Oh, no, the new guy, Jeremy, got the Diamondbacks. That's no fun, bud. Jeremy, I'm sorry. You can cry about that one. <laughs> You can cry about that one unless we hit some crazy Pavin Smith parallel in Series 2, which is very unlikely. I'm going to go grab the list, friends, off the printer, and then I'll put the teams on the screens, and we'll get right into it. Thank you. Ba -ba -ba All right, I'm back. I'm back. So there they are. Um, hey Brian, are you here, buddy? Brian Decker, senior. Because I have to ask you. A question. Oh, 
Oh, yep. PayPal, you can't ship through PayPal anymore. Somebody just tweeted about it. Looky there, no more, no more shipping through PayPal. I knew that they were, they were bringing on a shipping service. I don't ship with PayPal anymore anyway, but it's uh, apparently a thing on Twitter right now. Are there refunds? No, no, there are not refunds. Not after the randoms. <laughs> B Red talk shit before my shower. I'm here for commentary because you're awesome. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah thanks joshua did you get a new job buddy i saw you posted about something about driving to different towns and having a weekends off is that a, is that a thing or is that like an option you got going on right now uh we'll do the baseballs first i did actually post on the website how we're doing the baseball so retired players it's how i do all baseballs retired players if they made the hall of fame they go to the team that they're depicted in the hall of fame with their hat whoever's hat they're wearing in the Hall of Fame. Current players, current team, or if they didn't make the Hall of Fame, their longest tenured team. That's how we do the baseballs here. They come in these nice little boxes. They'll ship in this box. I love buying them from Steel City when they're available because they come in the ball cubes already. They're already ready to display. You're screwing with me. Who'd you get, Josh? No fucking way, dude. Josh Karnowski. How is that possible? That's twice now. Both the flagship breaks... The last two flagship breaks, you bought a million spots each break, didn't get the Pirates. And the last two mixers, you've gotten the Pirates. It's unbelievable. But I'm working to better myself. Never settle. Hey, bud. You, that's it. Never settle. i 100% with you on that. If, there, if, if you're not content, if you're not happy, if you're not satisfied, why, why stop? Why just say, oh, this is the best it's ever going to be? And it's, uh, fuck that. Do better. This is, this is, you can take yourself anywhere you want to go with this right here. Firm believer in that. Rigged. <laughs> I don't even know how that happens, Josh. Just like clockwork. They, you guys literally were talking about that, too. There we go. Bo baseballs. They're always tough, too. They're always tough, but they come in the cubes. They're ready to go. Oh, this one should be easy. I'm just going to confirm. Should be very easy. I like this one. He has a great signature, too. Dominican. Dominican. Uh, I know in the video game he has a screwball. So if anybody knows. But I don't know if he actually threw a screwball. He, play, he played way before I was alive. So I've never actually watched a guy pitch. He did throw a no-hitter. He's in the Hall of Fame. And uh, he played for multiple teams. But it will definitely go to the Giants. Got my new assault monster. Uh oh, I haven't had any of those. How many how many caffeines you get in one of those? Sal Fasano. Yeah, all right. Sixteen. Not happy driving. Nineteen more money. Gets me in your brakes. <laughs> yeah, for sure. I mean, nineteen's not even the best, but hey, it's a, it's another step. Oh man, it's a Hall of Fame baseball too. Hall of Fame baseball. San Francisco Giants. It's Juan Marichal. See, these come ready to display. These are the best baseballs, man. Steel City does the best memorabilia. That's the, that's why they're the only place I buy memorabilia from 80% of the time. National Baseball Hall of Fame, Juan Marichal, who has the giant. This is just cool. It's just a cool piece. Josh Kronowski. Very cool, bud. Official Major League Baseball. Beckett authenticated. Ready to rock and roll, brother. All right, I'm not bitter anymore. <laughs> yes, sir. Yes, sir. I am actually, I'm going to write on your box, though, because, like, Laura won't know. Wait, who's the baseballs? I'll write on the sticker, though. You can take the sticker off if you want. Boom, can't mess that up. Giants. Right there. All right, next next ball. Next ball. I love, ba I love doing memorabilia. I just think it's most of it is cool. You don't get all the turds that the turd rookies that aren't even on big league teams and stuff like that. JB, you just missed the first baseball, brother. I went to the Giants. You sir have the Yankees for this break. And here we are. Nice. 
Next ball is not as good as the other ball. It's a pitcher. I know that, but this dude played on a bunch of teams, I think. Okay, this one makes sense, too. It's easy, though. It's easy. He won the Cy Young in 1990. He was the wins leader. He was an all-star in 19... He wasn't even an all-star the year he won the Cy Young. How silly is that? Um, When did the all-star game start? It started before 90, yeah? Um, but anyway, it's going to go the Pittsburgh Pirates, Josh. It's going to go the Pittsburgh Pirates. You could make an argument for Houston, but I'm not having it. It's it's not even close. He was on the Pirates for five years. He was only on the Astros for three, and he won his Cy Young with the Pirates. It is not Brandon Webb. Look at that. Yep, it says 90 NL Cy Young. It's a fucking inscription autograph of Doug Drabeck. Official Major League Baseball. This one's Beckett, or uh, I'm sorry, JSA authenticated. Should be a sticker on the ball somewhere, too. Oh, there it is. James Spence authenticated. Doug Drabeck inscription auto. Still pretty cool, man. Josh knew. Josh knew it to me. I chimed in. What team did I get? And did I get anything? Uh, we've only done the two baseballs. The teams are on the screen, so turn your phone sideways. Make that shit bigger. Kyle Drabeck would have been funnier. Uh, but let me see. Andy, who you got, brother? Uh, 11, the Blue Jays. Blue Jays, not bad for uh, the one Bowman Mega Box. Uh, Pirates. And with that being said, we'll wrap up this nightmare that is flagship with the last box of the greatest hobby case of Series 2 ever. This has been a phenomenal case, so it's only fitting that this box is just terrible. We get one promo pack. There's been like black or platinum parallels or better in every box. Short prints of plenty. It's been a crazy case. I gotta be like super, super dehydrated. I sweat so much at the gym today. I might have to go play the lottery with my luck. Ooh. Here we go. Here we go. Series 2. There's like one to two good cards in a hobby box, and they're at the end, right here. So you get one. And like I said, this year's version of Flagship, there's been a bunch of packs that are just empty. Usually there's one to two per box. Historically, this year it's more like three or four packs per box. Don't even have so much as a single insert in them. But this case of hobby boxes has been fantastic on the whole. So, like, here we go. Nothing. It's nothing but base in this pack. So, that's one. That's one. There's something here. I can see the outline. I can see the outline. It's Jordan insert. But still nothing. I was hoping to get an autograph for our hit. And maybe a, a crazy short print or a really nice little numbered parallel. would make a great box. Here's our second, our second pack already with nothing in it. That's my big gripe. They added parallels to Flagship this year. They added all those ice parallels, and then they made the actual content harder to hit. So that means the amount of base from this year compared to last year just has to be insanely through the roof. Juan Soto, insert. There has to be, like, just an absurd amount of base. They added parallels, which means they should come out more frequently, but they come out less frequently now. So it's just it's crazy. It's crazy. They didn't take any parallels away. They just added more. And then still watered it down. There's another empty pack. That's three already. Cody Bellinger. Come on. Hit. Just want a good hit. If you get like two really nice cards in a hobby box, it's easy to cover the cost of a hobby box. If you can get the right card. If not, you're just going to get a ton of cards for relatively cheap. Because these are not expensive boxes by any stretch of the imagination. And we have a blue, or I'm sorry, a green. Green Dallas Keuchel, number 2499 for the White Sox. 
I used to play the Powerball all the time. I just, I, I gave up. I'm a quitter. Or like the, the Mega Millions, like a lottery thing. I tried winning the lottery for a while. <laughs> My apprenticeship, I'd buy scratch-offs like every day before work. If I, if I get a ticket, and I can take the day off. You, know? you don't get boiler making. You don't get any vacation time or fucking pay. You don't get any paid leave. If you leave, you're not getting paid. So I was trying to was trying to figure out how to get some money. Never worked out for me. Uh, Yelich, player-worn napkin will be our hit for the box. So that's unfortunate. Flagship is basically sold out on us with the player worn nonsense, but it's at least it's not commemorative. Blue twenty on scratch off. Sweet talk. That's like not even one ticket, bud. You can't buy them little fucking one two dollar tickets. You're you're just you're just fucking. That's the trailer park. You know what I mean? <laughs> I said it. That's like the the gas station. That's the gas station I go to is right down the road from a trailer park in the town over. And it's a lot of people buying one and two dollar scratch off tickets and fucking warm canned beer. And uh, you're you're never gonna you're never gonna win anything on them one and two dollar scratch offs. You gotta play them big boy ones. The go bigs or go homes. Nick Ahmed, number one ninety nine. <laughs> it's it's no joke, man. I'm a people watcher. I'm observant. Nothing less than five dollars worth buying, and I would even argue that the five dollar ticket is the worst of them all, because it has the decent prizes. But I feel like eighty to ninety percent of all five dollar ticket winners only pay five dollars. <laughs> like this is the worst one. I'm a ten and up guy, Josh. I hear you. I'll play the five dollar ones or like the three dollar little crossword ones if I actually just want to play a stupid game. But other than that, I, you know. But it's all risk reward, man. I've bought the most expensive scratch offs you can buy just to just to try. Here's another empty pack, and I mean I've I've, I've never won more than five hundred dollars on a scratch off ticket though. Ever. My sister's won a few thousand. My wife's best friend won a hundred and twenty four thousand on a five dollar ticket. I think she they were working together at a salon. She bought one on the way to work and fucking won it. I said you need to get that thing and go. Oh, look, we switched. <laughs> spent all that money, too. I don't think she has none left. That's what happens when you win all that money. You spend it all. Uh, number 2021. 20, it's 62 out of 2021. 20, it's going to be Alex Avila. So I do actually... Uh, that and then... Uh, I know and I know I don't know him, but I know the guy's brother. He won two million dollars on a scratch off ticket in my town. At like the crappiest gas station in my town too that's never open or it is wild. The weirdest place for a big winning ticket to show up. I've seen a few few people strike good fortune in their gambling life. So good for them. But if you go to your respective state's website, I think they will tell you what each game pays out. Like, it'll tell you the odds, and then you can usually find out the the payout. So, like, some tickets pay, like, 70% of what they bring in. Some pay a little bit better. Some pay a little bit less. It all depends. Each, each game, I think, is specific. At least in Indiana. Uh, Alex Wood, Rainbow Foil, Jack Flaherty, insert. But those one and two dollar tickets are just you're you're just wasting your money. William Contreras, rookie Rainbow Foil for the Braves. My opinion, of course. If you're having fun, then it's great. Especially if you don't care if you lose twenty dollars and two dollar tickets. You know what I mean? Then you're good. Then just have fun with it. Wisconsin scratch offs are the worst. I've never. I, I wonder now because we're sitting here talking about it, but I've never actually like looked at it like uh, on a state to state thing. Like, is it better to play the lottery in certain states? Because like Illinois, whenever they have a big jackpot winner, they can't even pay their fucking. <laughs> they can't even pay the people that win the jackpot. It makes no sense too. Like it's so criminal. It's not even funny. 
how do you how do you have something where we'll just say for the sake of arguments that the state of Illinois makes 25% on their lottery sales. So that means that they pay out 75%, which means they should always have the money. They should never not have that money. Why would they be spending money that they know they're going to have to give to their, their customers? So these dudes win these fucking lotteries, or, or, or girls, or whomever, these humans, they win the lottery, and then the state's like, huh, we can't pay you. How does, how does whoever's running that state not go to prison? How? I don't I don't know. I, I don't understand. And I'm not saying everybody needs to go to prison or any of that. I don't want people to be incarcerated, but how do how do you how do you how do you play a game and support your state by giving them more money even when you lose and then you win and they can't pay you? <laughs> it doesn't even make sense. Just say it out loud. How does it how? How? Wow. I don't give a fuck as long as it's a crossword I'm in. That's what I'm talking about. I do like the crosswords when I just want to play around. I'm about it. Look at this. This this guy's everywhere right now. Trevor Bauer. Seems like nobody wants to even hear about him. And here he is. I can't get away from him. Dodgers. Key Brian Hayes, rookie. For the Kronowskis. There you go, bud. See, you got the Pirates in flagship, Josh. <laughs> what are you complaining about? We're gonna get that uh get that Hayes promo auto coming right up. Bro. Bryce Harper DH debuts will end it right then and right there. Uh oh. It's blue. It's blue, we do get something. Clark Schmidt, Sam Huff, Andrew McCutcheon, and it's Nick. Castellanos for the Reds. Number 150. Will be 145 out of 150. Touch goes there. Samuel Huff here. Clark Schmidt in a little sleeve. Let's do absolute. Still haven't hit any cra crazy rare inserts out of this case. I only have one more box left after this one. So maybe this will be the day. Maybe this will be the day. Ed Roush. We have Aroids, number to 99 with the power insert. Acuna, Woodruff, Martinez, Salvador Perez, Cal Ripken, Juan Soto, number to 199. We're going to get the old Nationals, or I'm sorry, the old Mets captain. Oh, that's a cool one too. David Wright with some camo patches. I like that quite a bit. That's neat. New York Mets. Not worth a ton of money. Uh, Mercado. Oh, man, I didn't look at the order that closely to know. I should know who that is, though. Uh, it's it's not me. I didn't do that. You did that. That's I actually want to talk to you about that. Because I checked the address, and it's the same address. But you did it, buddy. <laughs> not me. I can't change any information you give me on the website. With the new web host we use with Squarespace, Squarespace will not let me change anything. Shopify used to let me change everything. Squarespace will not. So if you put in anything wrong, you got to let me know. Obviously, I know it's you and the address is the same, so we're good. It'll get to you. But I was wondering if it was like your brother or something. Uh, Dean Kramer for Baltimore, number to 30. Yeah, no, it's, it's no issue. I just wanted to... Make sure I could, I didn't know if you wanted it two, like, separate bags in your package or what. I changed it. Caleb, there you go. There you go. I knew it. I knew it. Well, there you go, sir. There's it for you. Yeah, and I'm not the biggest Squarespace fan. I'm really not. Shopify was the best platform. They're just criminals in my book 
If you're asking me, they're about as criminal as it gets, man. You guys all know the fiasco I had with them. They literally tried to shut us down for nothing. For nothing. Just so they could get more money out of us by using a third-party payment processor. And we're not going to shut your website down, but we're just going to make you use something else so that we can get more money from you. Because you're doing too much money through PayPal, and we don't make any money off PayPal from you because it's a... It's a nice thing we do. Jerks. Mackenzie Gore, we're going to have a nice Luis Robert, number to 25, extreme team insert for the White Sox. Willie Adamas for the Rays. We're going to have Max Scherzer, Jose Ramirez, Christian Yelich, Ed Roush, and we got shorted a hit. We're going. Oh my goodness. This is numbered to 10. This is filthy. So we definitely got shorted a hit. But look at this. Alex Kirilov, tools of the trade. There's part of the fucking twins. There's a piece of glove. That's going to be some part of a shoe. Look at this thing. This is ridiculous. Who has the twins? This is sick. Greg Lynch, congratulations, buddy. I don't gush over too much Panini stuff outside of National Treasures and what have you, but oh my goodness. This is freaking sharp, dude. And I like Kirilov, even though he's out for the year. I like the kid. That's nasty, man. I'm having a day. I just transferred all my PayPal accounts to my dad's card a little bit ago. <laughs> I've done that on accident. I've sent my whole PayPal balance when I used to keep a PayPal balance. I sent my whole PayPal balance somewhere one time. And it was like, I did it the slow way, so I didn't pay the fee. But then I couldn't touch the money for like two days. Pav had to bail me out on an order. <laughs> like, hey, dude, I fucked up. It's like, I, I need some money right now. <laughs> oh, man, I've done it. This is gorgeous. I'm sorry. I just want to look at it for a little bit. Just, just look at it. Would you just look at it? I mean, come on. Would you just look at it? Well, cowbell. I haven't done that in a while. There you go. There's some cowbell for you. So we got shorter to hit, though. I don't like that. Statistically speaking, I mean, I don't... But Panini gets out of it because they put on average on their box. Because they're jerks. Select baseball. I paid the ten dollar transfer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's what I. That's what I do now. I just. I hate paying fees. If you don't. If you don't need to. Why. Why give away money when you cannot give away money. Select baseball. I've done it. You're not alone, friend. Matt Chapman, Luis Robert, Guzman, Trevor Rogers, number to 199 for the fish, Luan Diaz. I call myself an idiot just about every day, too. So you're good there, too. How many things have I messed up posting? Somebody's like, hey, hey, that's wrong. <laughs> you're right. I mess up. All the time. It's part of being human, friends. You just... Mistakes are okay. You just have to fix them. And fix them the right way. Suarez. Blue. Rasmussen. Number two. Nothing. Because it's just that concourse. Goofy parallel. The spacer card. I think this is a hit. Trevor Story. He's talking about getting shopped around. And number two. 299. It's Alex... Kirilov for the Twins, baby. Greg Lynch going to double down on some Kirilov this afternoon. The other one is much more better. The other one's fantastic. Kyle Tucker, Hill, Phenoms, Wander, Franco, Franco, Clark Schmidt, Keegan Aiken. Yeah, again. 
Turner, Gliber, Abreu, Brandon Lau, Silver Prism, Casey Mize. Dummy card. A blank, whatever you want to call it. I've always called it a dummy. Chisholm Select, Soroka Red, number 199, Longoria, Silver Prism. Jonah Heim. Ozzy Albies, Jorge Ona, Jake Diekman, Perez, Joey Bart is a no go for the Cunts. Marcus Semyon, Monte Harrison, Story, Luis Garcia, and Ryu. Pache Sensations. I don't know about that. Lao Wong, Soto, and Daz Cameron, giant napkin for the Tigers. Just a gigantic napkin. How do we make the cards appeal more to the people? Oh, just put a bigger napkin in there. They really like those. At least put some dirt on it or something. Manufacture some dirt for it. If they're just player worn anyway, go just rub them in the dirt before you have them put them on. That makes it infinitely better. I think. If that's if that's how you're gonna approach the the situation, dirty them napkins up for us. It builds character. Luis Garcia Rizzo. We're gonna have a neon green Polanco number to 99 for the Twins. Joe Adele and Herman Marquez. At least make it look used. Yeah, do something. Put a fucking ketchup stain on it. <laughs> a little mustard stain. Oh, he was eating a hot dog when he put this on. Now that's baseball. <laughs> Just something. A little something never hurt. Pete Alonzo, Arihara, Rasmussen, Pache, and Jesus Sanchez. Number 250. For the fish. Spit on. I mean, you know. Whatever it takes. Bring the fans closer to the game. That's all. The debris on the inside of that top loader. Gotta love it. Gotta love it. So I ordered uh, different sleeves. I don't know if I talked about this yet. I ordered different sleeves. Uh, ones I could get my hands on. Because you know how much I love these Beckett ones. And tell me how someone who has something in stock is still going to take two to three weeks to ship my order. <laughs> That's why I hate dealing with people outside of the people I deal with already. Two to three weeks for something you said's in stock? <laughs> What? It ain't in stock if it's two to three weeks to ship it. I'm sorry. It's not. It's not in stock. And if since that's not in stock, let me order all the other stuff that's not in stock too. Let me just go ahead and put my order in. Mega box. For those of you that do not know, I feel like I have to say this every mega box I open. These two packs. Are the only packs that will have anything other than base opportunities. These four base Bowman packs are only base chrome and base paper. Just so you know, you will never get a parallel in these packs. So we're looking for the big names only, essentially. Get a first, a first Chrome Alexander Ramirez. I don't know how much time I'm going to have uh, before I have to leave after this break's over, but I may hop on Apex on Twitch for a little bit. If anybody wants to come check that out after this, because that's what I I want to do. And I'm waiting on UPS. I'm glad I didn't list anything that was coming from UPS today. Because they're still not here. And the Mega Packs, friends. Good luck. There's an Acosta. I like that. And there's a Thick card. I think this pack's going to be better than this pack. So let's just do this one. Raid Detmers. Riley Green. Sixto Sanchez. Zach Veen. And Jason Dominguez. So this will be infinite. This next pack will be infinitely better. I hope we have an autograph. I really do. 
good luck. We pulled an Adley. We pulled some crazy stuff out of here. It's yellow. I don't know if it'll be signed or not. I think it's yellow, not gold. Corbin Carroll. Junior Severino. Maximo Acosta is a good one for the Rangers. We have Logan Gilbert and Riley Green, number to 75 for the Tigers. Their top pick in 2019, I think fourth overall, perhaps. Fourth or fifth. Fifth overall. Outfield prospect for the Tigers. Nice yellow, number to 75. To go with Acosta for the Rangers. Who's a top five, top ten Bowman guy for this release. Junior Severino. And now we're into the uh, the main event, really. You guys can't see him. But the two Bowman Chromes in the museum is the, the meat and potatoes dollar for dollar in this break. So hopefully these chrome boxes are better than the ones from the other day. They were not too kind to us. Trent Grisham, Rookie, Gonsolin, Ezekiel Duran, Kirilov, and Casas. Bo Naylor, Jackson Kowar, Savale, McKay, Blue, Francisco Alvarez for the Mets. Number to 150. Like that. Big chat, the bi the biggest of chats. Tristan Lutz, Dylan Carlson, Moore, John Gratterall, Austin Shenton, number to four ninety nine. It is number one. Is the eBay one hundred one? I saw somebody. I don't know who. I literally saw a post. Somebody was asking to buy Austin Shenton today, and I don't know where, but it was on Facebook. Seattle Mariners, Mickey B. Congrats, buddy. First refractor autograph, Austin Shenton for the Mariners, who just seem to be a prospect factory lately. Uh, who has the Mets, bro? Uh, Bolander has the Mets. Luis Robert, rookie. Going to get a William Contreras refractor. Bojarski, Moniak, and Luis Garcia for the Nats. Another good little follow-up pack here. William Contreras. Lou Bob. Rookie card for Keith. Alvarez rookie. Toro got traded. Huff, Huff, and Nova. Toro got traded to the M's, I think. Is that where he went? Jordan Alvarez. You guys know I love him. AJ Puck, Otani San, Joey Bart, Castellani, and Steel Walker, who is, uh, I don't even know. He's like, his base first auto is like a dollar. I don't think he's going to make it. Yeah, yeah, Tyler, dude. It's going nuts with these uh, musicians dying this week. Jordison yesterday, Dusty Hill. Right before I got on the stream earlier, I saw that. ZZ Top. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's what I said. Charlie Blackman, Escobar, Duran, Pache, and McCarthy. Jordan is a stud. I can't tell people things. I can only tell people things so many times. We have a gold. We have a gold Adonis Medina 50-50. That's like a, a good a good card, you know. That's, that's the old raffle right there. 50-50 on the Adonis Medina for the Phils. I tried to tell people. I have cards that have been at PSA for at least a year now. All of my big ticket Yordan stuff from last year's Series 1. Short prints, super short prints, Walgreens, yellows, all that stuff, man. It's all been at PSA forever. This is the last sub I sent to them. 
I don't know when I'm getting it back, but I want it back. I want my Jordans. Noel V. Marte, Mateo, Pete Alonzo, Strasburg, and Hector Ian for the Angels. He is not uh he's not performing, I do not think. We've seen some nice stuff of his in like Leaf Trinity, but I don't like the Angels have no pitching prospects. Blake Sorry to sorry to break your heart like that. I'm just trying to keep it real. I don't know what he's done this season. But I mean four and ten with a three point seven isn't terrible, but as you move up the ranks it gets harder. <laughs> Exponentially harder. Cole Lindau, Vientos, and two ring. They have another parallel. Labrador, Rutledge, Ryu, Posey, and a Labrador Purple Shimmer. These are not numbered. Just like Bowman Chrome's parallel of choice. Yeah, they yeah, they drafted 20 pitchers. You're right, Bobby. Every round they drafted a pitcher this year. Miguel Amaya. <laughs> the Angels said one of them. Hell, one of them pans out. We did all right. I think that's their thought process. I can't say I actually blame them either. 29 people watching across all platforms. Go ahead and hit the like button. Subscribe to the channel. Like the page. Turn on the notification bells on either platform of your choice. Facebook and YouTube both have them. Because it's better to get a notification and not need it. To need a notification for a break you're in. And not get it. I am not able to tag people. I get tag requests all the time. Once I hit the live button, there's no tagging from BRAN. Just turn on the notifications, and then you're you're good to go. You can turn them off. You know, if, if you're that tech savvy, and you, you buy a spot in a break, turn your thing on, and then if you don't want it to be on, turn it off afterwards. It, I don't, it doesn't do anything for me. It's literally only there for you. It doesn't tell me how many people are uh, have the bell on on Facebook. It doesn't tell me any of that. I don't need to know any. That's literally all for you. It's not like I'm trying to sell you something or it helps me out or anything. No, that's literally the you know the best I can do for you in terms of tags and things like that. Here we go, second box of Chrome Dubon rookie Ezekiel Duran again, Luciano in there as well. Ah, imagine that, Brian Boyer. I'm sure they'll get it figured out, but I want no part of that. Lazardo, that's got to be a variation. 6-7. Did he just get traded to the fish, too? This is a, a rookie photo variation. Hey, Zeus Luzardo. And I only know that because it's a refractor and it's not numbered. This is a super cool card. But I think he got traded to the Marlins today while I was at the gym. This will go to Oakland, of course. Fish stole that shit. There you go. There you go. That sucks, man. That sucks for all them breakers out there having connectivity issues. But I don't... I get... I have a hard time explaining this because I'm not trying to demonize breaking at shows. But it's inherently more hazardous for the consumer. A, they have to buy it ahead of time, usually. B, they have to wait forever to get it shipped. And C, your shit gets sent to God knows where and gets to put in who knows what until it gets to where it goes to get packed and shipped so I I, I, I I don't know I I wouldn't do it I, I broke at local shows before and I, I wasn't a big fan of doing it because of all of that you have to be super careful and I you know I didn't I, I'm, I'm good I'm not doing it just break here I can ship your stuff tomorrow Austin Hansen, number to 499 for the Astros, but some people like it. I mean, everybody likes every. There's something in the hobby for everybody. I just I think it's very silly. And then yeah, if you're having internet problems on top of that, oh my goodness. It's not like the National owns the Donald E. Stevens Convention Center, so they're just renting it like anyone else. So it's not like they have every answer to every issue. Kyle Lewis, rookie for the Mariners, and a Shane Baz, number 250 for the Rays. 
Steroids Marte. Yeah, they just gave up fucking Steroids Marte for him, too. The fish are coming. Yeah, I mean, they're already around. You know, last year they snuck in on all those double headers they got to play. They got, like, a COVID bonus, basically, for having to cancel so many games and pitch so few innings. Double headers. The COVID double headers were, like, a, a benefit for them and the Cardinals last year. They literally, every time they had to play a double header because they wanted to go to the strip club or do whatever they did and violate their protocols, all they did was help themselves out by having to play four less innings every day that they had to play a double header. So it took so much off their bullpens. Uh, we'll see, you know, we'll see how the fish end up this year after being in the playoffs and beating the Cubs. I mean, that sucked. <laughs> sucked for me to watch the fish beat the Cubs. Kidding me? The bottom feeders? Ugh. But Jeter, Jeter's got to know what he's doing over there. I don't know. Good for him, I guess. I wonder if he's got any blackmail on him. <laughs> I wonder what he knows. Say, hey, let's get Luzardo, Billy. Give him up. The A's are good, man. The A's, the A's and the Rays are always going to be competitive. It's crazy that that, that that type of managing works, but it does. But it, it's not perfect, but it, it does work produce positive results last mini box here of Ballman, Dylan Cease we have Duran, Dalton Jeffries, Quinn Priester 6-0 J-Rod Wander, Alex Young Bellinger and a Lizardo Refractor for the Athletics so see here's the Here's the actual base card in refractor form, number to 499. And that other variation from earlier is not numbered. Big hit coming, huh? Big hit. How big? It's a big hit. He's right. Brian Decker's 100% right. It's one of the top five guys to hit in this product. Guaranteed. Guaranteed top five guy in the product. Jonathan Eastridge, it's all you, baby. It is Mr. Eric Pena. Young outfield kid. I think he was like 17 or 18. Born in 03. So yeah, he was 17 when this came out. He's 18 now. Eric Pena, 18-year-old kid. There he is, getting his first Bowman card in. Uh, Crowley said 25%. <laughs> you got to talk to Eastridge, baby. Not me. Salvador Perez, we got Ethan Lindau, Jeter Downs, Tristan McKenzie, that is a good hit, Pena, base autographs, got to be in the neighborhood of 100 bucks, something like that, I think we'll look, could be higher low, I want to say they were around like 150, so for them to be around 100 now would make sense. Wonder what the print run on the SP. John, that's a good question, man. I'm sure you could get a good idea. It just might not be easy. Uh, yeah, 82. But I'm seeing a bunch of different Peñas. Refractor for 148. So, yeah, yeah, somewhere around 100 bucks. I would assume. It's a pretty good assumption. It's a good hit. 84, 89. There we go. There's some more of them. Can't feel, well, why are there all these other cards in here? I didn't spell Pena wrong. Seth Brown? How is Seth Brown in an Eric Pena search? I never understand how some of these search engines work. Yelich, Josh Bell, Stevenson, Rutherford. Semyon, Willie Calhoun, Miguel Amaya, Geraldo Perdomo, and Brandon Marsh. That's a really good question, though. I'm, I bet you could figure it out, but you'd have to do pack odds. and It would be tricky with Bowman Chrome to do pack odds because they have the HTA format as well. But I don't think that would affect it because that's just autos only. I'm just thinking out loud. Autos only, so that really shouldn't affect base cards. Base cards would only be in... Uh, the hobby format then you would find out uh, the pack odds on pooling the short print 
then you'd have to know how many uh, subjects had a short print. There's there's a, there's things you could do to figure it out. Marsh is a good watch. Next time, I'll pay you for me to not get the D-Banks. I wish that's how it worked, friend, because I would take your money all day long. But <laughs> but I can't take extra money to eliminate a team from the random pool. <laughs> but I love the thought of it. <laughs> and it's a museum. Hopefully, we find something nice in the museum. First parallel is going to be a polar bear. Uh-oh, we have a redemption. I didn't see it, but we do have a redemption. That's awesome. Polar bear base parallel. Carlos Correa. Sammy Sosa. Let's go. Jackie Robinson. Redemption. Good luck, everybody. You're due to receive an archival autograph copper parallel. We gotta stop because I don't know what copper is. <laughs> I'm gonna assume 25, but I could be dead wrong. Archival, and now we gotta get the cardboard connection. Everybody's like, just show me. Who is it? Who is it? Who is it? Archival autograph, yeah, yeah, copper. Copper's number to 50, friends. Number to 50. So this will be number 250. Good luck. It's Carlos Correa of the Trash Cans. Bum, bum, bum. Eric Krause. Correa number to 50. Could be worse. Could be better if he wasn't a cheater. He's not a bad player. We're going to get a, Vla ooh, this is a giant thick boy card. Vladdy Jr., base parallel, Juan Soto, Kirby Puckett, Ty Cobb, and it's going to be number to 99, Joey Bart. A cream patch, a black patch, and two pieces of bat for San Francisco. I think Kronowski, yeah? You had the Marischal earlier. You had the Joey Bart ski. People really seem to like Joey Barton. The Giants seem to like him because they wouldn't even consider him for Chris Bryant. And I wouldn't even want Joey Bart. So we have Wilson Contreras unless they plan on Cannon Contreras after next year. Which I don't know why he would. He's fantastic. He's a guy that could be a career player if he doesn't want $10 bazillion. He could be a cub for as good as he's productive. He's literally like... Just done his job since he's come in. No complaints, plays good defense, hits the ball. It's fantastic. I don't want to see him elsewhere. Uh, Big Poppy, number to 99. Museum is different this year, I'm telling you. I feel like Museum is of a poorer quality than previous years. And that's a shame for a premium product. David Ortiz, number to 99 for the Red Sox Ichiro. Devin Williams, we're going to have a canvas collection. Babe Ruth, that's pretty cool. It is just a, a general one. It's not the signed 101 by the artist. And number 225 for the Astros, a three-color patch of Zach Greinke. So our autograph will be last, and hopefully it's a monster. Zach Greinke. And anytime you get the Babe, it was just out of courtesy. It's not even a real picture of him. It's someone's drawing, which I think is less cool than an actual picture of him. But again, just my opinion. There we go. Last box. I hit myself in the head doing that, and it landed on my armrest. Ter terrible. Terrible, really. Mountcastle parallel be nice for Baltimore. Oh, number to 150. 17 out of 150. Ryan Mountcastle, rookie. Blue parallel. We have my man Rizzo. Uh, Rosa Arena, Robin Yount, Go Cubs, Go, the Ace, the Professor. Kyle Hendricks. 
I showed you guys my super fractor of his the other day. This won't be worth a ton of money, but the Cubs won't even trade him. He said he's not even an option. Go look somewhere else. Kyle Hendricks, go Cubs, go. Somebody complain. Oh, no, that was a different break. Ben Ward with the Cubs. There you go, sir. It is numbered to 284. Very strange print run there. Dual relic autograph. Kyle Hendricks for the Cubs. That's not what anybody besides myself was looking to see. Just be, I'll keep it real with you guys. I think it's cool. Uh, baseballs, we had Doug Drayback for the Pirates and a Hall of Fame Juan Marichal baseball as part of the recap. But Kronowski knows he has both of those. And as for the sports cards involved in the break, we had Kyle Hendricks, a dual relic autograph. For the Cubs, Mountcastle, number to 150. We had Grinky, three-color patch, number to 25. Uh, Joey Bart, four-piece there. Carlos Correa, autograph, number to 50. Eric Pena, first Bowman autograph for the Royals, a good hit. Lazardo, number to 499, rookie refractor. Shane Baz, purple refractor, number to 250. Austin Hansen for the Astros, number to 499, refractor autograph. Luzardo, photo variation for the Athletics. Hector Yan going to the Angels, first Chrome Auto. Medina, number 250, gold refractor for the Phils. Luis Robert, base rookie. Austin Shenton, refractor autograph, number 499. Francisco Alvarez, Mets catching prospect, blue refractor, number 150. Acosta, first uh, Mojo. For the Rangers, Riley Green, Canary Yellow, number 75 for the Tigers. Uh, Jesus Sanchez, number 250 for the Fish. Daz Cameron, napkin for the Tigers. Kirilov, number 2, 299 for the Minnesota Twins. Lewin Diaz, number 2, 199. We have this amazing Kirilov here, number 10 out of Absolute Baseball. This is just fantastic. This is fantastic. Wish all cards were that cool. Luis Robert, number 25. Dean Kramer, number 230. For Baltimore, David Wright, we had a Bauer short print and a Yelich player worn napkin. That's it for the break. Thank you guys very much. Like I said, there will be nothing else today. It's kind of good. I'm waiting on UPS, and like I said, I'm leaving my house in an hour or so. So thank you guys very much. We'll see you in the morning. I will have some good stuff for you. As always, enjoy your evenings.